American Samoa is serving as a laboratory, testing new methods of ensuring a steady supply of food from the sea. American Samoa's increasing demand on fish for consumption has alerted the Marine and Wildlife Resources Office here to research and study ways of improving the fishing environment around us, as well as preservation for tomorrow. The research here began with the development of fish aggregation devices, a program developed to help the small boat fishermen. The idea is to have a floating object in deep water off our shores that will attract schools of fish to it, so that when a fisherman comes to that area, he will be able to catch something. After a year's experiment, this was found to be very helpful and efficient for our local fishermen. During the course of these studies, a new way was introduced in preservation for tomorrow, aquaculture or farming the sea. This is a feasibility study on the culturing of giant clams. The clams used in this research and new species for Samoa were imported from the island of Palau. The growth of these clams depend largely on environmental conditions. For this reason, Alofau Bay on the east coast of Tutuila was chosen as the site for this first aquaculture project. The clams are grown in cages in their early stages to protect them from octopus and certain fish that will crush their thin shells. The fishery biologists check the site each month to monitor the growth. There is hope that when these clams mature, they can be successfully transplanted onto the reefs of American Samoa so they can reproduce naturally and create more larvae to continue this resource. The fishery biologists are also studying the reef to monitor the number and kind of fish plus the conditions of coral life around our island group. The chief fishery biologist commented on the status of the research. My part is research and surveys. They're going quite well. The importance of the research was explained by the director of the Marine and Wildlife Resources Office. The importance of this uh, research is to collect enough information so that we'll enable our office to develop management plan for conservation of the resource here in the territory. The increase in population each year make us more aware of the danger we will be facing in food consumption if precautions are not made now. From KBZK TV in American Samoa for the CNN World Report, I am Margaret Leato. <laughs> Yeah.